Chicago culture is something so very special. So geographically, Chicago sits almost like in the same place if it were a body that the heart would be. And people are just doing, like we're not waiting for like investors to come in and save us. Right. Like we're literally creating art and music and, you know, pr production. Do we care <laughs> about y'all week? No? Yeah. Anything? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, shit. All right. Y'all Y'all make it a brief. Go ahead. Keep it concise. Well, I'll let my cousin go. Oh, mine's, go mine's is short. It's funny she said cousin. Because like you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely a fact. Uh, definitely a fact. Triple goof ten over there. <laughs> nah, man. It was, uh, it was a good week, bro. And it's always good when you get to see people that you fuck with. You get to get money with people that you fuck with. You get to hang out, eat, and drink for free with people that you love and fuck with, man. So I got to do the Air Water Show with my guy Moody. Shout out to Moody. My cousin, old big brother, Vop. Uh, you talked with the whole fam. Yeah, man, with the squad, bro. Then to see Isaac, the puppy of the crew, you know what I'm saying? When law enforcement walked down the beach before you. He looked like such a rookie, too. Uh, Isaac? Isaac? Yeah. Aww, <laughs> Isaac, yeah. Isaac, you know I love you, bro. I'm so funny, funny, man. I'm with you. Yeah, but you know, I, I don't give a fuck how much time you do it. Don't get, do it. Don't get on the job. I hit you at the plug, man. Fam, come eat this motherfucking food. They give it up for free up here because everybody else is doing it, Joe. It's the plug. And I don't care how old we get, bro. It's something about the air and water show that's always intriguing, man. I don't give a fuck about the helicopters or the boats. I'm sorry. I don't care about the boats. Why are you, why are you sorry? Because y'all love boats. You love boats. You know what I'm saying? I love boats and bros. There you go. <laughs> bros you on go. boats. Boats uh, and bros. But them, them jets are something else. Boats. What is it about the military that, that turn white people on? Boy, they, 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 you can see. That's the flag. Good huh? spots in their seat in the women's seat. The and the men was getting erected watching the jets and the sa sailors and the, and the public lights. So y'all chill the fuck out. You know, yeah, mm, look at the jet. Mm, I'm looking like, bro, y'all, y'all need some help, bro. What's the lip biting? That's what they was doing. I imitated them for real. Hey, man, you got to see that jet? Yeah, we do, man. But anyway, fuck all that. It was it was a good weekend, man. I got to see my family <laughs> hang out with us. Hang out with us, because us is all we have, man, when it comes to that. And it was good, though. How many how many black folks showed up to that shit? Uh, on the paid for part, about six. <laughs> the, the, the free part, about 6,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so I would have been with the free part, though, because you paid, it was 150 a chair to get cooked by the sun. There was limited shade. You know what our big asses did? We bogarted the shade. Y'all should have made shade for motherfuckers. Go see the fuck And charge them. Go see them seats y'all paid for, buddy. Y'all paid, <laughs> paid to get cooked out there. Y'all tired of getting pink and burnt? Go out the yellow. They came back oh. looking like salmon, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was cool though, man. Yeah, it was too hot. I wasn't fucking with it. Imagine that. 150 bucks a seat, three days in a row, uh, sold out. How many seats it was, I forgot, but they made about four million for three days. And they, they ain't got old, they weren't haven't been open all year or all summer. To watch Wait, fighter who, who, jets. Who was that? Uh the Aaron Water Show's Phil Stefani's crew. He holds like he owns like Bar Cargo, Broke English Taco, Rivo Steak and Seafood. So basically they contracted with Park District to rent the space and then they sold the tickets. Cause because I was confused. I was thinking, like, maybe this is the Park District event. They, how long have you been do. in Chicago? All my life. Okay, oh, so, so this has been going on your entire life. life. I've never been to the Air and Water and Show. And you shouldn't. This is my whole point. Shit is what do you, like, it's, it's dope. It's a dope event. No, it's not. It is. That shit is I've, weak you know, as fuck. I've it heard is. that uh, some whispers, like, people are trying to bring that a little further south. What it, you know like, what? What would it look like if you moved it along the coastline? I think they're kind of doing it already because these people don't know it. North Avenue Beach is the only spot you pay for to watch it, okay? Oh, okay. Anywhere further down, you can go into Belmont, north, if you're going north, and these motherfuckers go far south as, check this out, Gary, Indiana. Oh, because <laughs> you, you can, go to Gary, you oh, watch they, they leave yeah. and they, yeah. They, they, dock, they, they land at Gary Airport. Oh, okay. And come back, you can watch oh, it for nice. anywhere else, yeah. How long do it take them to get from Gary to, Dude, to North seconds. Avenue Beach? Maybe like- Three seconds, bro, no bullshit. 10 minutes or two something Two mocks, like they doing two mocks. What the, what the jet? A, a, a jet? A mock. A mock. She's talking about a jet. I don't know what we talking about. Yeah, a jet. A, a jet, a jet to get from Gary to here. It's, all, it's almost at the speed of light. Mock is 800 miles per hour. One mock yeah. is 800 miles an hour. Look at him. Boy, that boy good. You know what I'm saying? A M-O-C-K? Mock speed. M -A -M -A That's what that means. M-A-C-H, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. You're welcome. Most these, the most basic plane flies at Mach 2. Yeah. We ain't even trying. You know what I'm saying? So to get from Gary to the beach, three seconds. Three? Three seconds, but it's no bullshit. Once they get up in the air, phew, they gone. Now, rather than going to watch them motherfuckers, I'd rather be in, inside the jet. I, I do that. You saw Javaka, dog. I do this that. motherfucker, hey, Vok, fuck you. I know you watch the show. <laughs> you know what he said? Hey, B, I could do that. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> so he said, can you drive a car? I was like, yes, that's a plane. That's so a plane. He said, can you drive an 18-wheeler? I was like, yes. No, I really can't. I think about it. So I can't drive a plane. I said, bro, you don't even wear your seatbelt. So imagine doing little turnovers Damn. in the plane. 
Bro, you I'm, falling out that bitch. I'm in that bitch, man. They make it look easy on Top Gun. Fuck you, man. How many roller coasters can you handle right now at your age? All of them. All the roller coasters? <laughs> yeah. I just choose not to get on that shit. Right. See, now we're we talking I want to see now. you strap yourself down. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait. You know what? Wait a minute. Fix that in post. Oh, wait. First of all, yeah, we'll, you're not going to say it past Like, you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> Shit. My week was. Yeah, let's get into that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, fly man. planes. All right, stop it. Uh, I, had, I had a good week. Yo. Yo. What's cracking, brother? Feeling good, feeling great. As you should, man. Look here. It's your boy AB and Mr. AM. Oh, and we're here today to talk to you about the T. M H Man Cave. Look here, it's a non-profit whose sole mission is to eliminate the stigma and bring awareness to the mental health needs of black men and black boys. It's been around since 2018, and it's founded by who? Our girl, Titania Harris. Okay. Get to know her, man. She's a psychotherapist. She recognized that black men were hurting. They needed a space. Yep. She created it. That's Look, they got everything going on over there, right? The program, the new program starts in September. So we got a online wellness group that meets you. monthly, Absolutely. right? That's 18 and up. Wow. Then we have the in-person groups that's also 18 and up. Wow. Then if you want to show the role like Mayweather, we got the boxing and mental health for young men that's from 12 to 17 years old. Look here, really quickly, but let me tell them, it's a place where you can feel empowered, emboldened, and get knowledge, man, as a black man and black boy. So look, we encourage you to support, donate to TMH Man Cave, TMH mancave.com support donate it's a non-profit All donations support it and at the very least follow so you can see what's going on because these kids these babies they need help even us we out good I guess that's that's what it is uh, I did get my hair pressed out thank you for noticing mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is so hot outside it's gonna go back to a whole afro I'm okay. not excited cool, about cool, it so cool. yeah well, shout out to other than school started back Kids are in school. College students had nice. their first day yesterday. Shout out. Um, Landon hit me up like, uh, I got fined. First, oh, he lost his ID. He lost both keys. Wow. Buddy is just, uh, my, my poor baby. He figuring it out. But he's been late to practice, and he was like, I can't. It's hard to get up in the morning. Like, you out kicking it. You That's a scholarship, grind. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's huh? a grind. You got a scholarship, right? You got a scholarship. Don't yeah. lose that scholarship, brother. That's what I told him. I was like, right, man, man. you signed a contract. You yeah. know, you, you got to show, gotta up, gotta show get out, up. brother. Yeah, so uh, so now we're we're on a uh, like a phone train. Like everybody's just gonna uh, give them a call starting at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, stuff. help them. You know, help them wake up. Um, so see, I'm I'm kind of against that shit. I'm more like uh, you're an adult now. You need to do adult shit. I'm not your your personal alarm clock. Wake the fuck up. And we see why your kids uh, are my kids. <laughs> I I don't like I don't like my kids. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Well, I love them. I don't like them. Because they're grown don't mean you still can't help them, bro. That's, that's equivalent that's to help. putting that's your, kid, community, putting though. your that's kids out the house too early, bro. How's that's that not help? help? They're not ready yet. Obviously, they can't get up. No, it no, takes no. Them to tune it up. No, it starts there. That's what I'm saying. It starts there. You need to wake the fuck up. Well, he was waking up, and now he needs a little bit of help and support. W waking up too late, huh? Yeah, waking up too late. Yeah, that's oh, fucked man. up. No, no, get, no, no, get up no, early. No. Hey, come on, fam. I I'll help with some other shit. You can do this. You got to get up. You got to get up. You are on You are on the I'm so glad you're not my baby daddy list. <laughs> I got a whole list of people. Like, I'm so glad yeah. you know my baby daddy. You you know what? And Danger I am so daddy. sad that I have the baby daddy that I have. Uh, I mean, maybe, 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 <laughs> I got that it's list. Maybe too. it's my upbringing. Like it's just well, yeah. Like my mom probably used to try to be on that. Pops like nah, he grown. You know what I mean? He got to get up. Was it always that way? Yeah. By by the time I was of age to do certain things, yes. Set your alarm. Get up. Period. Yeah. Everybody needs. It's a not bit my of responsibility. Support, it's not my responsibility to get you where you need to be. It's not my responsibility, but it still is. Uh, I am. Up, I am so proud that this young man was able to uh, negotiate a contract for That's like one hundred twenty thousand, right? Yeah. And so, of of the things that I can do for him is show him, like, all right, uh, now that you know, you know, you got some work to do, I'll do my best to help support you on that way. You know, he'll be fine. That's cool. I told him. I said, hey, That's if you can't get up on your own, pay somebody to wake your ass up. You got money. It's called winning, bro. Yeah, you know that's what I told him. I, here's my cash app. Dollar sign Mila of Mars. <laughs> not, not you inconveniencing me because I got to wake up earlier than I, I mean. Wake but up. if my son call, hits you me, in the morning. you know, like my my uh, my kids take care of me, so he'll shoot me a couple of dollars. Thanks, ma. <laughs> you better find an ID, <laughs> make money, and them keys. Don't lose them shits no more, man. Come on now. He said that they shredded his ID. Because he, get, he get, I think he get a, a new I, student ID number. Maybe. No, his state ID. Who did that? <laughs> the school. For what? 
That's what he said. I don't believe that. So that's what I said. Oh boy, Mm-mm, he lying already. That boy lost his. He lost his coochie already, huh? <laughs> oh my god, bro! I, I told you. Okay, man. Oh okay. boy, we had this conversation. Oh boy, <laughs> damn, L. <laughs> All right, man. All right, let's. College, he taking hey, L's. College was the shit, though, man. College was definitely the shit. shit. Once you once you get the hang of it and get a routine, you really can't lose unless you choose to lose and not do what you're supposed to do because it's your first taste of real freedom. And it's like rebelling against your parents without your parents being there. Now you're really rebelling against yourself. But kids, right. I, I understand that now that I'm grown, you rebel against yourself and your best interest and your better interest. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, fam. But you got to know yourself, right? I purposely yeah. took late classes because I knew I wasn't the one that was going to get up. Period. Yeah, like, I did that at too. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Nah, 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 nah. But then I got blue once I once Whoa. everybody was done oh. at 12 o'clock and you I'm just going my class, up. right? That used to blow me. So did you change a little schedule? Bit. Yeah, just a couple classes. We had to take classes early because we had practice. We had to run at fucking five in the morning, okay? How about that? That's trash. Come back, wash our ass, go to class, yep. eat, go to class, get out of class, go practice. Yep. Uh, and then, God forbid, it was game day. That's what they don't talk about, you know what I mean? That's uh, just a grind, about bro. About being a, a scholarship athlete. athlete. Yeah. Yeah. He better get ready for that shit. It was like swimming, That's- waking up at four, in the pool at five. We had an outdoor pool. And then the two day practices were nuts. And then you had like physical training some days. You, so nuts you had anyway. straight, it was nuts. Oh, it okay, was. Wait a minute. Oh my God. All right. Moving on. Yeah, moving on, man. Uh, this podcast is for Chicago by Chicago. <laughs> um, we like to highlight our tastemakers, our influencers, our, our um, I forget, I movers and shakers. Our movers and shakers. <sighs> Yeah, I got to do Our that. creatives. Yeah, you do. <laughs> our creatives, you know, uh, and our black businesses. And today, we are in studio. And woo, 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 woo. we're just going to start in Chicago and then work our way out. I just saw that uh, we just had Sneaker Fest here. That was a big deal. Um, maybe y'all not into it, but. Have you ever been? Over 6,000 people there. No, no reason for me to go. I get all the sneakers I want. Why you got to <laughs> shimmy when you shake? Because I'm just flexing. That's an arrogant move. Yeah, I'm my mom. <laughs> Mom, look at me and my feet. Oh my! So, have you been to sneaker con before? No, it, I don't like shoes that much. I took land. We can and, tell. Oh damn! Shots fired. I'm on that. I ain't had no I sleep. Don't even care. I'm outside. Boy, wear size ten. That's that's a woman's shoe. I wear fourteen, buddy. Check it out. You, if you stop somebody, don't get them laugh. I what cannot the take What does right that now? even mean? Well, he wore me, uh, you are size, an abnormal he, human. He wore size 10, medi- size 10 medium. You know what I'm saying? 10 medium. <laughs> Sneaker Con is probably the most impressive display of shoe collections I've ever seen in my life. It's people with their, their whole stalls and their, their shoes. And it's like the shoes that are shrink wrapped. And then the people that do custom shoes. And then the, the dude who only has one pair of shoes that he's trying to get off. And he's walking around with a shoe, like trying to sell it. <laughs> and then, like, Landon was like, Ma, he's selling a Louis Vuitton belt. I was like, We're not buying Louis Vuitton belts here. So it's like a it's like a man swap meet. Yeah, there's yeah, women there too, yeah. but it's yeah. mostly it's mostly it was, guys. It was 300 plus vendors there. Yeah. Um, you know, DJ. I mean, it was a good time. Just start yeah. with the fact that Sneaker Con, Sneaker Fest Chicago was in Schaumburg. That really, yeah, but, but, I, but here's the crazy part. I start then, I like, I kind of tickets were all the way up to $650. Y'all pay six. How much of them got there? The Jordan Paris. It was like a hundred. They, they had they had free joints. Tw- Twenty buck they tickets. Had free joints. Okay. I mean? Um, but it went all the way up to six fifty. Now I don't know if I'm coming to shop. What else do I get with my six fifty? <laughs> to walk gotta, around. Gotta be some sort of VIP Condiments. experience, or it could be. Remember the shoes at Sneakerville? The uh, Tiana Taylors and the Jordan Paris were like five fifty. So I mean, and the security in those spots be tight. Yeah, it should. Yeah, they should. People still. And yeah, they should. I yeah. still. Did y'all did y'all did y'all see that? Um, I still yes. I'm not sure who did this, but I know it was uh, a Duce function. They had Love like Duce. three thousand, four thousand people inside a helicopter hangar, going crazy. Sean Mack was DJing. Y'all didn't see this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was here crazy. at the crib. Yeah, motherfucker, motherfucker was pulling was they down. Gary? No, they was at the in Chicago. <laughs> a helicopter hangar. Like where is that? Motherfuck, motherfuckers pulling down with the helicopters. Motherfuckers getting dropped off in the helicopters. Oh, that's dope. Uh, I believe Dave Jeff was there too. It was a Duce, uh event and uh, Rock Nation. I gotta hang so out with some crazy. cool kids. Mm, right, you definitely not it. Yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> I wasn't on that uh, list, sir. I definitely was. I just chose not to go. I'm cool. You are not telling the truth because you would have been told us like. Go, 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 no, I mean, I only, I only had one for me. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know. Not do you weak as hell. I'm sorry. Hey, I wouldn't have been offended, bro. Oh, okay. You already know that. Well, now. <laughs> well, I know now. You know, Kells want to go to everything all the time. That's not true. You outside. 
I am outside. <laughs> yes. A lot. Well, I, that's not, no, no, that's not true. Spill, spill hanger for helicopters. Hanger? Yeah. H-A-N-G-A-R. My man. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> okay. Um, here we are. I tried it. You did. <laughs> epic, epic fail. Not a fail at all. <laughs> here we I'll are, man. It's, it's that time again, man. Um, my timeline is about to be filled, filled up with uh, people posting their children <laughs> from second grade to sophomore the, year. Grad school. The ones that got all demoted. That. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, again, again, people look, okay, your kids are supposed to go to school. All right. No one actually cares that it's their first day. Everybody knows their first day. It's probably the first day they're going to be fresh. First day they're actually going to be happy about going. Um, and you're a miserable human being. Get off my fucking timeline with all these fucking pictures. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Show me the grades. Right. Why? Show, if, right. You're gonna, if, if you're going to show something, give a fuck Why? about, oh, fresh backpack, first day back at school. No. Uh, you are so crotchety. Like no. I cannot take you right uh, now. No, that shit is whack. Why is it whack for Who? people to celebrate their kids going back no, to school? Oh man, what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? They're a new year, a new start. Man, there's, been, there, there's a lot of new things that happen in a year. Whether yeah. it's people celebrating their new, you know, uh, it's my birthday, so it's a new year. Holidays or the return, you know, the return to the school year. It's right. significant, you know, right, especially so, in our so, community. So, so maybe the parents are celebrating. It's like, all right, I'm glad these motherfuckers are going back to school. That could be it. All right, well, be happy. Take a picture of yourself. You're so, <laughs> you know what I'm You're so horrible. Take a picture of yourself. Well, they, they in a bonnet and boxes, bro. A bonnet and boxes. They, 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 they can't do yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? First day back. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, first on, day man. out. It really was first right. day out. First right. day out, this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, now, man. I got no issue with that, man. I mean, to watch your kids grow up year by year, it's really a blessing. Uh, of some sorts, because a lot of kids don't make it through the summer. Mm. A lot of kids, uh, whether it's natural or natural order, sounds so uh, bad to say, they don't make it. You know, then to understand that some kids actually like going to school. I fucking hated school. You know what I'm saying? I was good at it until like South Korean college, but you know, some kids actually like going to school. To know that this is a chance they can they can kind of be streamlined into society to learn how to read and write. Because he don't even do cursive anymore, bro, which is crazy. Which is weird, yeah. Crazy, but, you know, you got to sign a check. You e-sign everything now. But, yeah, man, uh, get your ass up out of here. It took in a crumbling, a crumbling school system, too, which makes me laugh. What's that word? Crumbling. Oh, crumbling. Crumbling, okay. crumbling. Okay. I, thought, yeah. I was about to give not, you some points. Not crumble points. cookies, motherfucker. I, thought, I was about to give you some points. I thought you... What you, you thought know, it was another one? What yeah. you thought he said? I thought he said crumbless or something. No, no, nah, yeah. I, I, was, I was finna be yeah. highly impressed. CBS is like maybe the crumbliest school system. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man. I really want a cookie right now just it's because cool, you're talking about crumbless. <laughs> cookies are dope, though, man. So, I mean, I, I watch them. I'd rather see them kids posting backpacks and gym shoe pictures and fashion pictures than, than, than the blicks, than the motherfucking duck lips. Then my little fight videos, then the trends that we see but all the time, But they're probably bro. doing that on their timeline. I would see all that shit anyway then. Right. Then, it's, uh, these are the parents. This is the parents, parents timeline I'm talking about. <laughs> it's the parents. Like, I feel like, so the, the pictures I got from the kids, um, I posted one back to school, and that was me and uh, me and Keeks. And, um, the, but the college kids, I'm like, if y'all don't stop sending me these pictures of these random human beings that I don't know who they are. It's um, their friends. Look who I met. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who those people are. Get your hands off. You might get cooties. <laughs> you know but saying? I'm okay with it. Like I don't get offended what, by what people post or people celebrate. <laughs> get out of their business, man. Yeah, you are so. What is wrong with you? I don't want to see that shit. What, what do you want to see? Whatever you put that chain on, you, <laughs> you turn to it right. You are <laughs> like a total no, no, because it, it's irritating, own man. The it's, chain is cursed. I, you know, I'm, I'm blocking people, deleting people. You know, <laughs> because I mean? they're showing their kids. Because they want to be better in life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because they want to be better in life, dog. <laughs> You know a lot you're of not, parents. You're not, you're not, yeah, I mean, everybody got kids. You're not better, you know what I mean, because you're showing your fucking child going into fifth grade. What do or, you post? Or, you don't post, you hardly post nah, anything. No, nah, no, it's not their business. This man posted his grandson sitting on his titty. <laughs> and nobody, nobody else could post they baby going to school. I did not post that. Now, Mr. Carter. Mr. Hey, you Mr. did in the Carter, thread. Mr. Carter, was, he was very fly. He was very fly in the I didn't post that. You know what I'm saying? You, he, you, you shared it in the... The things you share confuse me. We be having a good it? day. I never posted it. I put it in the group. It was in the group. Yeah. it was. Yeah. That's why it was posted in our thread. So you personalized it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see your hat, your hat, your sad titty though. I want to see, see your second <laughs> trimester, bro. I don't want to see your sad titty. Negative, man. I'm in the gym. <laughs> um, so now, speaking of this this whack ass first day of school shit, okay? 
Uh, you guys is mayor. That gym shit is funny. That's the best joke you told all year, bro. It's the best one. Say You're, it again. Tell it again. Titty I, I city. Titty city. It is titty Tuesday, though. It is titty Tuesday. Titty Tuesday, though. What's your mayor's name? I'm sorry. You guys. You guys He's your mayor, too. Mayor Brandon, Brandon Johnson. Johnson. Can y'all grow up? Please? <laughs> no, I'm straight. No. Fuck, have some class, man. Um, oh what's goodness. the name again? I'm sorry. Brandon Mayor Johnson. Brandon Johnson. Brandon Johnson. Okay, he signs your checks and, uh, you know, politics you. So, <laughs> he gave all these people going back to school the first day, God. home run in pizza. You want a song? <laughs> uh, home run in is a little overrated. Home run in is fly, bro. It's a little overrated. What's your favorite pizza joint? Let me talk about Brandon right, for a second. Right, because it's going to be ass. Watch <laughs> It's gonna be ass. Watch. Come on now. Who knows if you want to, if you really want to. Oh, that was one of my really first jobs. Who knows? Okay. Um, I love who knows. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, okay, so you give you give pizza the first day. They said they, they serve pizza at the school anyway. You're gonna have pizza any fucking way. It's a big difference, <laughs> you know what bro. Saying? Like, what I don't I don't get it. Like, I'm not enthused about having home run in pizza the first day back to school. Well, you, you know that some kids remember the pandemic where they had the food programs open for the children? Yes. And the reason why they had open for the children. It's the same thing. Just the pandemic's done. The school is open now. Some of these kids go the entire summer without quality food, without even a, a meal. Or, you take your kids to dinner for treat to treat them sometimes. You know what I'm saying? They go the whole summer without having something like that, bro. So see them get back and to entice them to come back. It just it's like enticing. You put the bait down, let them come back. They didn't know it though, but and it's fine. But come on, now. it's it's cool. It's in the sense of at least somebody's trying. If you put it in the, in that in that sense, okay, I get it, right? Um, but fuck, give me give me. Give so me like how they chose, like which schools lobster. got the pizza party, and I, I think there from, you go. I, 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 I think, think it was uh, South South and West High schools. Yeah, that's fine, but so we North have, Side don't get no love. Fuck we, y'all, we, that's <laughs> fucked up. We we have a lot of schools and a lot of students, and I think for me, it was kind of like, I hope that this business makes you know some sort of like discount code for CPS students through the year. That'd be nice. You know, I hope that we see them move around their pizza parties through the year for like schools that are high performing. Like I do like the idea of businesses giving or incentivizing performance and attendance with treats for that. That's kind of like for, for the students. So I like the, you know, I like the idea. Um, I definitely can see kids in a feelings in the same community. Like where are pizza at? But, yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So what do you do to kids that are, uh, Educationally challenged, you know, in the, in the spare classes or, you know, uh, a lot of times their grades aren't performance based. So they're looking at that, like you said, they look at that like, hey, man, where my pizza at? You yeah, know, I feel you, like how, all, how do you yeah. include them? Yeah, I feel like all the schools like, should should have something at this point. Okay, so like if you if, if a company is like we want a partner to celebrate, you know, going back to school, like, all right, if you're going to do this for the next five years. We have a plan to make sure that every Chicago public school Included. is going to, you know, have the chance to be celebrated through something like this um, at the beginning of the school year or the holiday or throughout the year. We're going to commit to a pizza party for CPS students. Do it once a month. I'm going to do it like this, though. I'm going John's Pizzeria, Western Shakespeare. It closed now. Family family uh, beef. Uh, home run in. Italian Fiesta. Did you say family beef? They had family. They had family beef. Oh, dad. Yeah, they had family beef. So they shut down. Uh, well, that's not bad. Time Fiesta, Lou Malnati's. Uh, maybe, Lou is four. Lou Malnati's is four. Yeah. Okay. Four to me. Uh, it really. Th these are tourist spots a lot of time, but the crust is what we rock with in Chicago. We don't always get deep dish motherfuckers. Just so you know, y'all come out of town get the, the deep dish. <laughs> and it's cool. It's still better than y'all shit. Lou, Lou Malnati's four. Uno's five. Uno and do, Duo or whatever is the same thing. Duo. Duo. You know what I'm saying? Falco's Duo. is underrated. Who is uh, Falco's? Falco's Pizza joint out south. It's underrated. Uh, Connie's is underrated. Yeah, that's probably about it. I feel like Connie's Pequos and Home good, Run you know? are like very similar to me. No, Pequot's is trash. It I is do fun. not like the burnt cheese over the thing. Like, that's too much. Caramelized cheese? Yeah, I don't, I don't Caramelized like people. No, nah, man, give me, give me that uh, Domino's and uh, Little Caesars. So I like, I do what like Jets. What the fuck he just say? I like Jets mm -hmm. Pizza. Fire. I like no, Detroit Jets style pizza. Trash. You like Detroit style pizza? I, I, like, the, I, like, the, oh, I like the corners. I, I like the crust. I like the crust to like pizza ratio. Um, <laughs> that's nice. I, I dig Uno's. Um, I am definitely a Malnati's girl. I love the cornbread crust. And I do rock with Italian Fiesta only uh, Christmas. Um, and then uh, I don't think I have five. I don't fair. like Home Running and I'm not a Connie's fan. I love Home Running. Garlic butter crust. Ooh, bring that shit here. 
So they said your I mama, definitely am your not mama with Domino's. Home run in. Domino's. I'll choose Pizza Hut. Domino's Little Caesars or Papa John's. Fuck you mean? Oh my god! Papa John's the worst pizza you can buy, bro. For the win. Papa you John's the best crust with, with, with the garlic. Love. What fire? Dip that. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You sound like you just got paid to say that. That's mm. why he stopped going to the gym right there. <laughs> <laughs> that list like, says it all. He goes to That's all. Did you say Little Caesars? What Little Caesars? Domino's. I might give you Domino's, bro. I might. Fire. Give I'll give you. I'll give you home run in only because there's five dollar hot and ready. Mm, that's mm. Caesar's, right? Oh wait, is it's, it? It's Caesar's. No, Caesar's, Caesar's hot and ready. Okay, I fuck yeah, with that though. Ready, yeah. Yeah, I like not, the, hot not, ready. The, the frozen home run in joints are right, too. You pop them in the toast oven. Those are oven. Yeah. Can you cook? Hey y'all, it's one person on the show that's in shape <laughs> oh, out of four of us. It's Glue Kende. You heard my pizza list, right? Don't fuck with what she he talking about. <laughs> Her list is cool. Fuck what he talking about though. Hey yeah, he, you did everything that is like not that's like, really that's like. That's how you say rich, man. You you, you buy what? you buy undervalued shit and make it taste good. You get undervalued ingredients too, though. Yeah, tastes, <laughs> yeah you do though. It tastes great. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm happy the kids got pizza for their first day of school. Facts. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I said it was you know I'm I'm fine with talking about you know the pizza, but watching the clips, you know, mm. uh, the press conferences have been interesting. He called it Tupac though. I don't even know why he did that sometimes. But <laughs> that yeah, was a strange... I, I fuck with Tupac, but uh, Brandon, okay now, come on. <laughs> I'll still, you know, you know, still Brand, root for him, though. Brandon is out here watching um, former black politicians and, and, and a lot of uh, internet clips. <laughs> because when he quoted Pac, it didn't even make sense. <laughs> Made zero sense. It was, good, it was a good quote, though. It was a great quote, but Brandon, <laughs> like, it, it's all about uh, timing. Oh, the, the, the delivery. So how 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 how, do, how would you deliver it? Deliver it. All eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, shorty want to be a thug. <laughs> oh, I would love if he did a press conference yeah, like you with know. all two <laughs> You know, shorty want to we'll be, be a thug, thug. and you, I know all right. eyes is on me. So, Brandon, how do you it's, feel it's when people, heaven, you know? when people disagree with you? It's just me against the world. Baby. Yeah, and you can picture me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what about the youth in our city? Well, Brenda's got a baby, but Brenda's barely got a brain. Brenda, what are you talking about, man? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hold on, man. Hold on. Brandon, man, we, we're on to you, man. Pause, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Man, make me, <laughs> I'm, I'm for <laughs> give, me some, give me some more pot, man. Give me some more pot. These kids can hardly spell their names. Oh man! Oh my god! Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> that is our problem. It isn't just up to Brenda's go, family. He, he need to do that. Need to fucking do yeah. that. He'll win. Because well, let me tell you how we respect the whole community. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh, job, I would baby. love to see it. Brenda, get, get Brenda you got to do more. But you, you, you got to. Whoever your publicist is, uh, she needs to help you with Tupac that. Tupac fan. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem right there. Yeah. It's a millennial. It's a, it's, it's no, a, she, she definitely a white girl. Who, gotta be. Who is obsessed with 50 years of hip hop? What do you say? Re- realize, realize. <laughs> That's uh, what I'm saying. Like, can you deliver shit. it? I had to think about it. I really it is. Uh, it. Oh. Uh, now. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, real eyes. Real eyes. Real lies. Yeah. And I, that would have to be like the ending. You know what I mean? You got to drop the mic after yeah, that. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just insert it here and then you have a whole talking. other dissertation after that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Pocket, you know I mean? hey, thank you for recognizing the goat. I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> and I don't, even know, I don't even know if you got pocket rotation, bro. Let me, let me <laughs> he he do. Anytime you and your family get the whole same haircut, bro, you listen to Tupac. <laughs> they got the same haircut, dog. It's unreal. That's but, right. you know, the like, um, it's been 100 days since he's been in office. How many? A um, hundred. I think today is the hundredth day. It's been six months since you've been on the corner. Did you know that? That sounded pause. Officially. No, it's no pause there. You just, <laughs> Why can't I say pause? Because that sounded it. weird. I, I see what she had with it. Yeah. It's been six she months. She's been walking the stroll for six months, huh? <laughs> right. That's what it sounds like. Right. You've been on a, right. He did a little shimmy. You've been on a corner for six months. <laughs> baby. <laughs> listen here. Listen here. <laughs> yeah, well, so congratulations, six months. Uh, oh, thank you. On the pod. And my, is my contract being renewed? <laughs> Oh, you got this. It's a year, three sixty five. Oh my god! Yeah, we're still watching. <laughs> watching what? <laughs> watching your moves. Oh my god! And and you said what people were asking, like why me? Huh? Yeah, people was like, why? How I get here? And they just haters. They just haters. You know what I'm saying? It's not important. You show your worth every time you're on the show. Well, uh, well, we appreciate you subscribing. Absolutely, for sure. Do y'all care about these uh, extra five thousand people that are invading <laughs> CPS? Um, and I'm, I'm I'm tired of labeling them, but I guess it is what it is. Five thousand plus. It, it's an invasion. It's an invasion. 
It's 5,000 plus kids now. That's not CPS. an CPS. That, 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 that are putting a burden on an already, according to what you guys are telling us, an already understaffed, underfunded school system mm. that's flailing. Yes. Clearly, <laughs> mm, uh, spiraling down uh, in uh, test scores, attendance, and all these things. I think kids have to go to school, so I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But the winter's coming up. These kids have to go somewhere. When I see these kids at the stations I go to, some of them are nowhere near ready to be introduced to a <coughs> uh, society like Chicago public school system. They, are, they aren't ready, man. I'm saying. Teachers that really don't. We have great teachers out here. Some teachers don't really care. Students, we all know kids can be mean. Don't be the only Spanish speaking kid in class in certain schools. Now, my, my question is, what schools are they aiming to put these kids in? Because we're relocating their parents to city. When I say we, we're relocating the parents to places where they can be more familiar with the people, with their surroundings. And these families are coming right back to where they are because they have jobs and stuff. So now, your mom works here. Say your mom works here at the studio. And your dad works at the studio as a migrant. But the school they send you to is way somewhere else. Mm -hmm. How this kid going to get there? So there's money bleeding. The city's bleeding money in so many, so many ways. I don't know how to go to compensate for that. But yes, I do, though. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I want, it, I want apps on my phone to pick and choose what the fuck I'm funding with my taxes. Because I'm giving my shit to everybody. Mm. I don't want to... I want to fund... I would have I funded the school system a long time ago to help it to help it from closing schools that have been closed in, in certain neighborhoods. And these kids had to go to other neighborhoods to go to school, fueling... Uh, fueling uh, the fuels between different neighborhoods and gangs and shit, bro. Now, all of a sudden, you guys magically went to a hat and pulled out some fucking dollars. Y'all got paper and bread, bro. Fuck y'all. And the classrooms are going to be overcrowded. Absolutely. So... We feel and, bad for the teachers, though. We sorry, y'all. I feel bad for them. And Absolutely. I'm assuming these kids are probably maybe two, three years behind. Yeah, it could be. But it could be geniuses. So? So, you know, on, on... I wonder how many speak English. I wonder... Look, for me, I'm curious about the population loss that Chicago has undergone in the past 30 years by age. Because we have lost black population. So there are some kind of like vacancies, I think, within CPS. The next thing is I really was expecting over the summer for a plan to be shared with the city about the number of children that are in need in terms of like education because school is starting back and what that plan is going to be. I don't think be. they thought about it. I think they were just more concerned with making, making sure- Don't cut off have, no more. They have places oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. for them right. to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, no, dead ass, because I, yeah. I didn't think about, okay- Winter's coming. Yeah, I mean, I'm, because I'm a parent and because the person who just won office is related, you know, or, or used to be an organizer for the teachers union, for me, I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be, they're working on this, right? Like, and they're, they're also going to communicate to the uh, residents or communities, uh, this is, you know, whatever the plans are for CPS. Like, I, I assume we will be starting school understanding how many kids were going to be in need and where these resources were going to be coming from and how they were going to be supported. Um, but do the uh, migrants have, have social media? Are they putting pictures up? They got up? cell phones. Are they putting pictures up on, on their social media? <laughs> hmm? I mean, hmm? maybe. Why? No, it was, it was Wait, what is the, what, so uh, 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 I, I, I don't have a negative feeling towards people in need. It's not about need. Not well, but from. but I, I just want to I kind of want to ask you like what's the what's your issue? I don't fuck with kids. I can speak to my issue with that, and it's not even negative. It's the fact that uh, all of a sudden the city, which is a sanctuary city, do what you're supposed to do if you if you claim to be a sanctuary city, be a sanctuary. All of a sudden, you guys have these resources. Y'all getting these grants. You know what I'm saying? Y'all acquiring these grants for people in need because it's an emergency. Y'all have these shits ready available. When there was a culture here, and I ain't finna talk about race, homeless culture here that needed help, unhoused, as you say, needed help so fucking bad. And now you, know you got room. But now you got room for things. That was my problem. So it's not even negative, you know what I'm saying? But so solutions being the rapid solutions emerging, but That's the absence of it's not the solutions. To me, it's not wrapped in me. No, to me. no, I'm no, saying rapid, like rapid, 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 for rapid solutions for emerging for the okay, issue cool, that is the, the, yeah. the migrant issue, like it's here, we have to deal with it versus the solutions that are that, slow rolling the problems that for, have been right, yeah. and, the, and, the, and the slow right. moving of solutions as well. It would be inhumane to not care about somebody, but mm -hmm. I care about being, being people we are, we good motherfuckers, so we're great. I think about it. Uh, True. Right, you know what I'm saying? We, it, it would be inhumane <laughs> for us not to care about people, but, but we care about people way before now. Y'all just started to care about people now, and to me it's fake love. 
because you don't want to look bad to other cities that have taken in migrants and doing things. To me, it's it's no, such bullshit. Yeah, you guys have been overworked teachers who already can't wait to leave this motherfucker because you don't treat them right. They have to strike every other goddamn year to get benefits, to get money, to get time off. Uh, teachers get like fucking, I'm, I'm finna be wrong with this number, but it's a very small, I ain't gonna say a number. I'm gonna see I did that. It's a very small amount of days off they get, bro. It's goofy as hell. Like, I'm you're, calling like, off you every can't, you, you day. You can't get sick. You can't get sick more like three times a year because no bullshit. Unless you're a superwoman or superman, it's not going to take you more. It's going to take you more than a day or two to get over a fucking cold or the flu or pneumonia. Yeah. And they have to go to school sick, immune system compromised, and already dirty places. During Work, the pandemic, they, the they showed us how, how, under, how they did not clean these places. But they didn't clean them before. All the rats and all this got, bro, come on now. Y'all got to have something better than this. Brandon, where you at? Quote some Tupac now. <laughs> what song fits? Nothing. Changes, God damn it. <laughs> How I go? I forget right now, bro. The only thing you, that came to mind was How Long Will You Mourn Me? <laughs> wow. I don't That's know why that came ever. up. I wish it would have been another. Changes is basically if heaven got a ghetto. How long spliced. will you mourn mm. my Nate brother? Nate Dogg, R.I.P., bro. One of the most golden mm, average voices in history. <laughs> is he is. Mono, does he count as monotone? He's definitely monotone, but it's unique. I could do it's that. It's unique, shit. though. Whoa. Uh, Kels, let me go ahead and throw you a oop real quick. I Oops. just saw that uh, she can't jump though. Chicago's no first independent black-owned weed dispensary opened up. Uh, oh yeah, kill this girl. <laughs> Number two, those, those are your people, right? Viola Shy, yeah. Al Harrington and Chauncey Billups and Broadview, Illinois, is a much better conversation for. Well, let's talk about that then yeah. real quick. Let's let, you know. Let's get into that. I, I want to pull up. Can we pull up? Um, I do believe we should be able to. So Dan Pettigrew is a High Park kid. Oh, uh, Name. Yeah, his uh, his son Zion Pettigrew plays for the Washington Nationals, so um, he's a baseball player. Smart move. And uh, they actually started Viola Shy early 2011, like when Harrington was traded to the Denver Nuggets and Colorado was about to legalize. And so they were really interested. And so Harrington and Pettigrew um, had a connection. Um, they were family friends and they, you know, figured out how to start the company and have been waiting for some of these markets to open up. Um, they got two licenses here in Illinois in the Chicago region and um, got a chance to holla at Pettigrew for the cover story for Chicago News Weekly. Amazing dude. Oh, no. um, and then also graduated from Simeon, which I think is... Uh, Simeon Badgers, right? Don't play with me. Oh. Simeon Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop claiming every school in the I don't city, claim every school, and I'm gonna need for you to stop being a hater. She claimed, she I feel like you claim CVS, Simeon, Morgan claim, Park, CVS. Claim CVS. Lane Tech, uh, St. Rita. You know, yeah. St. Rita. Rita. You claim all boys' school. Right. <laughs> yes. Mount wrong Carmel. Wrong. Yeah, we all, everything. Like, Josephine Baker, Cabo, <laughs> Josephine Baker. Yeah, our school. Is that, that really girl, a school? That girl went to school for two weeks and then transferred. Like, come on, man. Look, listen to me. Uh, I went to Lane Tech, Simeon Vocational, and graduated from Morgan Park. Damn. Morgan Park Mustangs, right? Yeah, the Mustangs. Mustangs. Yeah, the pumpkin heads. Used to be a good neighborhood. Y'all fuck Morgan Park up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Did you hit y'all uh, y'all picnic? No. How about this? I didn't even know there was a picnic. We got to get better with that as, as a community. I swear to God. Because you see <laughs> some picnics be lit. Well, you can go to all of them too. Damn, you you have a good ass time for like a I've month. I've never straight. been to the like I, 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 <laughs> a month straight, girl. Babe, babe, babe told me about it. I was I was like, what you uh, babe, oh, told me about it, and <laughs> I was like, what is the? I was like, uh, something for us to do this weekend. Oh, camping, and he was like, uh, the picnic. I was like, what picnic? I'm like, oh, dang. Right now, y'all see why I claim Simeon. What's your favorite get? High, <laughs> what's your favorite get high song? Because we're talking about uh, weed and dispensaries. Do you have a favorite? Get high song. First thing that comes to mind is Lonely. I got five on it. I think that's goat. That's goat status. Do you have one? I don't have one. Because I got high. Because that's I got a good high. song. That's not the Lonely's. That was funny. <laughs> that, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> that, that but then Nate Dogg's iconic line at the end of uh da 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 da. It's the motherfucking smoke weed, weed every day. day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. You know what I'm you got that. You got Styles P. I get high. Styles P is definitely number two under that was under a dope ass song. You oh, you mean like weed yeah, songs? Weed songs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Crumbling herb. Y'all like that? Outcast? I'm just crumbling herb. Yeah, I'm watching too. <laughs> I would have to say a uh, bus smokers only then. Uh, bus smokers, smokers only. Bus smokers, smokers only. Only. Okay. Yeah. We okay, got, we got to get, 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 get some feedback on that. Why though. didn't 50 Cent ever come from Bone Thugs and Harmony? Because they were singing way before Ja Rule. No, I ain't want that smoke with them niggas. <laughs> them niggas plus, plus Lazy Bone be on, on the internet with shotguns. What was it? Was it Busy Bone? One, yeah. of, one of the light skin ones. Yeah, the one that needs some medicine. 
<laughs> he needs some medicine, bro, because he went crazy. He went off the hinges for a long time. Sorry about my voice, y'all. I know my energy seems down, but my motherfucking... Nope. You won't get that out of me, buddy. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Buddy had booty in his face. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay with that, though. Yeah, That's booty fine. in his face. Uh, hot, hot buns. Little cheek sandwich. Yeah. Buns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's Y'all okay, are stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry now. Somebody give us the fifth song. Yeah, we, we'll put it out there in the group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good we'll one. We'll get the dope pulse. You know, but uh, Viola Shy is going to open up a second location in Lincoln Park, and they will be the only one with a drive in and drive out dispensary. Yeah, it's a nine—it's a nine thousand square foot facility that used to be an emissions testing center that they're going to be opening. Oh, I know where that is. Yep, it was a nice club down the street. I don't say no name. What's the address again? You said what? What's the address to that motherfucker. I don't again? know the address. I feel like the, uh, Southport, but it was an emissions testing, and they said it was horrible. Like traffic, In Lincoln was Park, right? Yeah. yeah, the Dolphin down the street from there, bro. Yes, yes, the yes, great yes, board yes, 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 right there, yeah. bro. My Why are you guy. snapping like yeah, that? Because, What's the dolphin? It's, it's on Webster. Actually. Yep, the Webster. dolphin was the shit too, though. Yeah. Miss y'all, man. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a it should it should be a a, a great location. Oh, I'm excited for them. Crazy, yeah. yeah. So if you get your order wrong, like, it's not like McDonald's, right? You can't come back. Hey, man, no, you like you can't up. even bring. No, once you buy, you have to you have to. You gotta take check your order like in the drive-through. Make sure it's right. You can't even like open it. That's fucked up. Well, I guess you can in the car. I don't know. So I've only been to dispensaries like twice to like purchase. And so, like, I went to Mission Dispensary, and um, it's you know, cool. You walk in there, you order your stuff online, and then they go get it, you know, from the back. Everything is sealed in a uh, child-proof container. Yeah. Um, they put it in a little baggie for you, and you mm-hmm. and you dip. Okay. Right. But if you, if something if something's wrong with your order, you cannot bring that back in. Be careful. And once you smoke some higher grade marijuana. Buddy, y'all, you look corner boys or y'all yeah, sit huff, dead, bro. That huff is is really hard to like smoke. And smell. Mm. Yeah. yeah I got, it is though. I got a CBD pen. I was not that I smoked though. I was I was way <laughs> um I got gummies. I got a, a a half THC CBD vape pen. And then I got uh jet fuel. Um shout out Vic Mensa and 93 Boys. That's and, his brand? Yep. Okay. Yep. And so went camping. I missed the I missed the paddling on the Fox River, even though I didn't miss it. Um, <laughs> it was it was a good it was a good time. I pulled up to the campsite. It was like nine nine o'clock. Sun was down. Everybody was all tired, tuckered out. You show up. You show up nice and spry, huh? Ready to go. Ready to smoke. Ready to smoke. Ready to smoke. <laughs> ready to smoke. Okay. Ready to wake, smoke. wake and bake. They didn't kill the munchies and everything. What's the best weed movie? How how was good? How how was good? Okay. How how was good, man? Uh, Dave Chappelle half baked. Half baked. So my yep. shit was good. Uh, what's the joint with Chi Chi Chong? The old school joint. Was it just, was it, just, we just called it Cheech Chong. Chong, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. That's the name of that movie? It is. It is. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot the name of that shit. Um, Let me I, Google it. I need one more. Give me one more. I, they don't really make a lot of weed movies like that, uh, bro. Okay, so I so I do an at-home film festival, and uh, the movie I just saw was Rasta Man She Love, and what? it was all about- That sounds like Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody say that? I don't even know what Tubi is. I have not watched Tubi. Tubi for the free throw, man. Tubi, why? I don't. I don't. I don't have Tubi. <laughs> no. So it was a. It's a YouTube uh, movie, and it's Rasta man she love, and it's about this young girl who falls in love with a Rasta. Up and in smoke. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking. Uh, I think I saw that. Oh, that, 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 that's the name of it. That's the name of Chief. Yeah. So Ra- Rast, okay. Rasta, Rasta man she smoke, love is yeah. a great film. Okay. All right. Yeah. He he uh, he was a weed farmer. If y'all if y'all know some um, do belly count. They smoke a lot of weed in that movie. Is it a weed movie? Uh, they, was they, they dead president? If y'all know some weed movies, man, put them in, put them in the comments. They smoke crack and heroin in the dead presidents though. <laughs> they smoke big dope in uh, dead presidents though. Hey, so we're gonna do something a little different today. What you gonna do? Not even dog? different. We gonna we going we're going to attack the podcast group that's on Facebook. <laughs> and I'm not sure who. <laughs> what does that mean? Because no, we're about to get into some shits. Attack. And, yeah, we're, yeah, we're no, that's attack. not the right word. No, it's definitely attack. Yeah, he, he means yeah. that. What, yeah. what, what would you use? Uh, so there was a post in reference to this young lady saying that women should probably date two, three, four, five, oh, ten I, men I at a time. Oh, that was Kels. That was me. Shout out to Kels. All right. So clearly Kels needs answers. <laughs> and all the women <laughs> need answers. <laughs> And <laughs> the lady said you're doing you're doing single wrong. That's what she said. Okay, all right, don't worry about it. I'm going to play this. Your thumb gets a lot of exercise on that scrolling phone. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's weird. You did clean it up though. You did. You did the, I yeah. said scrolling phone. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, while I'm scrolling, let me also bro give, find that shit. Give a uh, <laughs> give a what R- fuck is going on, man. Give a RIP to uh, Magoo and also. Oh yeah. Let me also, and you know what? Before, because I don't, I don't want to um, shortchange either, oh, no. either one of these brothers, man. Um, shout out to Magoo and also yeah, rest in peace, uh, Clarence Avon. Won't you the, click the, the God, the Godfather, the goddamn magnifying glass? Click her name, and the post she posts will come up. No, yeah, this I, no, no, is no, true. I, I have that. I have that. We have a lot of posts, and he's scrolling on no, his here timeline. It is, here it is. Here it is. Okay. All right, here it is. He's in his inbox. I missed those days when we saw your inbox. That was funny. So Kels, Kels posted this and she says, uh, men, are you okay with a woman letting you know she's dating other men? Have you specifically asked a woman to drop the other guys and rock with you only? Is it's exclusivity required for you to continue dating a woman? And she posted this clip. And I'm going to play this clip. <laughs> and we're about to get into the shits. And this joint went kind of crazy with the comments. And I'm going to read some of these comments. And <laughs> we're going to we're, we're attack this. <laughs> Reasons why you are single and miserable. You are doing single all wrong. Number one, you should be dating multiple men. You need to be dating two to three men baseline. Okay, let me tell you why. POV. You were in a relationship with a guy for three years. It didn't work out. It took you two years to get over that relationship. When you hit the streets now, baby, you're five years in a deficit, okay? You don't even know what you like. You don't even know what's outside. You need to know what you like. Day young, day old, day tall, day short. Try your hand at it, baby. You need to go outside. You need to date to learn what you like. The second reason why you need to date multiple men is because it takes the emotional offload off of one particular person, baby. You out here stuck on Kevin. Kevin is a four. He's doing a whole bunch of nothing. Boom. But you stuck. Big, women's biggest downfall is not being able to control their emotions. If you're having a problem controlling your emotions, rejoice, Myers, living beyond your feelings is basically how to control your emotions so your emotions don't control you. Additionally, you're dating in a deficit, you're dating in deprivation, and you're dating in depression. Okay, y'all? Oh, my God. I'm so tired of the apps. I ain't no quality man out here. Da, da, da. That's exactly what you're going to attract, baby. When I step out the house, I feel like I smell good, I look good, okay? And my mentality is that there are abundance of quality people, quality men outside, okay? And look, hotline blinging. Okay, that is how you have to step outside. So enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Enjoy the summer. Be outside and enjoy your life. And that is exactly what you will attract. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. All right. <clears throat> that damn part of blooming. I'm like, you have that. <laughs> so what all I heard was it's a hot girl summer. Right. So you're only dating when it's hot outside because she said. Go outside when it's hot. So don't do that. It's relative. It's summertime. Uh, Grow up. You know, I'm just saying I'm, I'm taking her words and. Telling you what I hear. So what she's saying is, in the summer, be a hot girl. Date, <laughs> date you are fi- such a cornball right now. Date, date 15,000 men. <laughs> she said baseline three. And figure out what you like. Okay. Now, I like your eyebrow sticker. If she is, I don't know, she looks, you know, 25, 30 years old. Oh, 25, right? probably 25, 30. Makeup, you never know. <laughs> you just Facts. Don't. You right Facts. Now. With, you with, don't, with, man. With, and, you know, the hair, you know, she's cute. But you're going to date all these different men. And I have a problem when women use the term date because you guys have a different definition of dating. We all do. Yeah. yeah. Like, why we is it just do. women? We all do. We I all think do. because I, I, there, there's not a man alive that says, oh, I dated her. He'll say I fucked her or I smashed her. There's not a man we alive. We used to date. He'll yeah. say we used to date. Yeah, I used to smash. Okay, cool. You know what I'm oh, you have a vocabulary of a 12-year-old on TikTok. Cool. That's great. Well, but simple it, is, it's simple is good sometimes, it's though. Facts. I mean. Get to and, the point. And, and what I'm what I'm saying is this, right? I don't think she's wrong. But what if she? What if? What if you didn't have sex though? I didn't. I didn't even talk about sex. Look at no, you. No, but you said smash. Look at you. What are you talking about? Look you said you. smash and fuck. What are you talking about? And I'm, re- I'm bringing it back on you. And, but what and, if that? What if you weren't to, physically close? Oh, that was a different conversation. I think he was having. Yes. Okay, I, I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, like like. It was all right. So so though. so yeah. what, what I'm what I'm going back to her now. Her. I'm just speaking on everything that she said. Hurry up, man. You can't wait. You can't wait. What I'm saying is this. I don't think she's wrong. Obviously, hey, cool. Date who you want to date, right? Figure out what you want to do. I ain't got a problem with that, right? What she didn't say, okay? If Kevin, the name she used. The four. The four, right? Why Kevin, he be, why he be a four, though? That's what she said. She said yeah. Kevin, Kevin is still smashing this whole time while she's trying to figure herself out. Unless she's just a whore. What? Unless she's just a whore. You're just making up a whole story. 
I, I so you mean he, so you, he's speaking man language, but I, I see what he's saying. So, so you mean tell me, she's trying to get over Kevin. She, so she's dating she fifteen thousand men, fucking. trying to figure out what she likes, what she doesn't like. Okay, right. Fifteen. At thousand. some point, at some point, while you're this dating is, these men, this is you're, dumb. you're gonna want to have sex with somebody, right? You're just not taking a break from Ugh. sex, right? And if Kevin ain't smashing, then one, two, three, fifteen thousand. One of these men that you're dating, that you like, that you figured out that you like, somebody got to be smashing, right? So it's cool. She telling y'all go out and date. I ain't got a problem with that. But where are you getting your sexual energy from? What? What are you? Uh, okay. You got I need, some, I need I women need to stop acting like to, y'all don't y'all don't want to fuck. Like, but what does that have to do with dating? Like I'm confused how you just a whole lot because let's because, def- because, let's, because yeah. let's define dating. Yeah, first of all. Let's define yeah. Dating. Do that before you start. Dating. What do you mean? What, 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 what do you consider what is, dating? What is dating to you? Go I'm not. Out. I'm not no, against what no. you're saying. Go out. Yeah, let's have drinks, dinner, movie. You know, come come over, chill. I cook. Ha- have um, go out to different events. You spend time together. So more than just a fuck for sure. Dating. For like sure. y'all, y'all call up. Sometimes y'all text. You know, y'all can maybe do things. But now, what you got to leave out of town to go hold shorty hand. It's a different story. You know what I'm saying? What do you define as dating? Before, um, before you go and start taking off on your, on your point. I would say dating <clears throat> is the process of getting to know people through conversations and activities. Okay. Um, yeah. That like basic, I don't know you, we're getting to know each other. Right. That w- right. That's what I would call dating. date. Da- but then I also realized that there's another context of dating when you have committed to a single person or being in a relationship and you can call that dating. As well. dating. So gotcha. going out on a date. How are you committed? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Going out on a date with someone is, it's not a business meeting. It isn't hanging out with the homies. Like there is a romantic interest, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to see you again or anything's going to happen from it. Yeah. But if I, yeah, if I choose someone and we're dating, like that is, you know, Different. like, yeah, the I words are, yeah, it's yet, a though. family of words. I don't want you to go there yet. A date, to me, I broke the word, I, I broke it down. Date. Date is a scheduled or planned event. You know what I'm saying? Dating is, <sighs> dating makes, the word dating turns, it's a verb, but it makes it more personable in the relationship world. It's a, it's a doing things with someone all the things you mentioned in, in efforts to get to know them, you know, uh, whether it may be, <laughs> some people can skip, they skip the formalities. They get straight to fucking. They, they figure like, you know, hey, I like this person. They mm-hmm. fuck first and then see if the other things are there to keep dating this person. They go mm-hmm. by the dick game or the coochie game first, you know what I'm saying? Some people go through the formalities first, you know what I'm saying? The conversation, the late night sex, the have a drink, Taco Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Taco Tuesday, uh, the brunches on Sundays. Fellas, if y'all want to meet women nowadays, Stop going to all these other places y'all go. Go to fucking brunch, bro. They all at brunch. They all at brunch nowadays. It's crazy. It's unreal. Parties of four. Yeah, they all at brunch. Yeah, on my mama. They all at brunch. Uh, dating is... I finished before I said that. Y'all go ahead. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't think just because you're dating means that you are having sex, though. But like, that are. doesn't... But like, you are. Dude, not man, kick rocks with well, that. Well, remember we that's, had a show... That's so ridiculous. We had a show at you 16th are. Street where no, that's the so ladies stupid. chimed in and I'm, said... I'm a woman. ...that they and all so have four you... people at the same time. Remember, I don't know if you were there yet. The we asked the question about how many women, how many men five do a woman have a on their team at one time, and it got to like four or five. The funny guy, the money guy, the sex guy, the potential man, and some other random dude was there. I'm like, so that, that was just us. So he's <laughs> random as hell. <laughs> he got he got the wrong side of the red line or something like that. You know, that's my brother. He's never getting the pussy. He might get the pussy the most. Before I before I decided to be in a relationship, I was going on dates with multiple men. No, I'm not having sex with all of them or none of them. Like dating like the, and dates. You said dates, though. So you're yeah, about dating like yeah. That's, but that's what I think. I think that's where when when the video clip uh, was posted, everybody's hearing something different. Everybody has facts, a different facts. definition of dating, and I'm like, how did we get? How did we get to sex? Like I should be allowed to to, to to see do see do see do. Yeah, like I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what's gonna. Uh, you know who I'm going to click with. Facts. And so I don't have to put all of my eggs in one basket and get to, and commit to only seeing one person. If, if I want to get to know you. And I think that was her point. So if you decide like, all right, I'm going to keep seeing where this is going and don't, it's and then to totally, totally exclude, 
exclude like you are so lame right now. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you why. Here's the thing, right? Like, but you're like making no, all of these negative no, 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 like no, no, associations no, with no, people getting no, to know just, each other. Hear me out, right? I'm not gonna say men don't date. Because men will spend whatever, do whatever to, at the end of the or day. Or multiple women, right? Yeah. And take multiple women out, right? That shit and is, not touch all of them, and right? No, and, and not and, touch and, any and of them, right? And try to touch them all. And that shit is lame as fuck. I'm not dating until I know I like you. Why the fuck am I spending my money and my time on you? Serious money get, on you. Yeah, like I'm not doing that. He, he's, I'm not he's doing chopping that. his sentences down. I, I, have, I have to translate for him. That shit is trash as fuck it. to me. So it's like, all right, Shorty, if, you, if we're dating, if you're saying that you're dating me, we are going out on a regular. I'm spending my time and my money on you, not on multiple women. First of all, that shit gets expensive. Secondly, why the fuck would I spend some money on a motherfucker that I don't know, don't like, or I found out her breast stink? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she had bad feet like Boomerang. Yeah, right? you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not doing that, right? <laughs> so guess what? You know how we gonna get to know each other? <laughs> you can send a text, you can call, you can, you can meet me somewhere. You that's, know what I'm that's, saying? That's dating. That's still that's dating. Bro. Yeah, that's like dating, what are you bro. talking about? Like, you and you still you haven't had sex, and, and you're only gonna get one drink. But before that, let me be clear: <laughs> we've had we've she had, had multiple one, two, no, we've had, had multiple drink. conversations so prior to that. How is she not saying what you're saying though? Like, oh, no, no. Can I can I say something though? Go ahead. That's I, weird. I agree with her uh, in this video. I think the the problem came in when we, when we was in the group with assuming that. Because you're going to date you fucking. Yeah. That's what, came in. what I heard was this right here, though, before anybody goes, you know, it's really quickly. I heard her telling women, exercise your options. You know why? Because men have been exercising All their right. options for a long time. But when, when our options, though, we can have 10, 15 people that you want to date or maybe interested in. Or even men, we, don't, we really don't get interested in a lot of who be curious about you, what, the, what that booty do. You know what I'm saying? What, what that throat do. You know what I'm saying? So we'll have our options. We do things. I think it's because men penetrate. I'm going all over the place a little bit. When men, men penetrate, women get penetrated. It's looked at differently because when you are dating or exercising your options, women, you exercise your options, uh, people are looking like, man, if she got five people she's seeing and dating, you know, she got needs. These got needs. They're going to do what it takes to get what she got. She going to make a choosing selection, but we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So we assume that three out of five, six, she's 60% six from the field. Three out of five is hidden. It's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's just it's, affirmations. I'm not, I'm a, not playing the random game. I'm not playing the random well, game. Well, I mean, that, well, this I'm is the reason why that. men will never know how many people we're actually entertaining and in what way. Because one, we're not even believe when we are honest. Like, I can, I can accept an invitation to go to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why are you, I, I why can, he inviting you out? I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can accept an invitation Facts. At, at any time. Right. But that doesn't mean the invitation is going to lead to anything. It is the assumption that when women talk about um, meeting or getting to know people where it turns to this sinister sexual, well, who you fucking, how many people? That's so weird. Like, at some point, why can't it just stop with, like, how do you identify who, what the fuck am I you? who, what are you talking? Why Cook are you yourself. jumping? Why are you jumping to food? Are you hungry? Sometimes. <laughs> are you hungry right now? Yeah, a little bit. Are you horny? Yeah, because we weren't talking about sex at all. We were talking about dating. You took it straight to food and fucking. Because like, that's what dating is. That's what's on your mind, no, sir. No, that's, that's what dating is. To you. A, a lot that's of times, that's how you date. That's how you date. A lot of times, though, it's looked it's like this, though. Like, we exercise our... Men... It, people think men exercise their options to fuck. For women, it's viewed like this. They are exercising their options to see potential partners. Yeah, we you know all are, though, aren't we? Not like, really. Like, like, I have a friend, not, who, I have a friend really, who's looking for a wife. He's dead ass serious looking for How old a is he? wife. He's 42. That's about the right age there. Yeah, he's 42. Looking for a wife? Yes, he wants to be married. Man, so Everybody wants to win the, the game with somebody, bro. To, um, yeah, uh, he Mariano. wants to be married. And, and, uh, brunch, bro, brunch. <laughs> or Tarzan. Row 24. <laughs> but in order, in order to do that, he also has to be open and available to getting to know women. That's um, hard. That's hardcore, though, man. And so he's like, I've, I'm, you know... I'm tired of meeting all of these women. I don't want to keep going through the, you know, rigmarole. Yeah, and, rigmarole and, and all of that. And he was like, "It is exhausting Five. carrying a conversation with, you know, this woman." At, you know, we're starting off here. We're now to the point where we're talking a little bit more intimately here, and like having this spectrum of people. And it's and it is hella expensive trying to, you know, That's the truth. cater to 
Uh, you want people to feel valuable and their time is value. You don't want to make them feel weird by inviting them to your house. You don't even know if you want them to know where you live. I and, feel that. You know, you know, it seems really complicated, but I think it is fair and necessary for us as adults to separate the conversation of sex and really talk about how do you genuinely get to know people? It is expensive emotionally, mentally, as well as uh, financial investments. Um, how you how you make a decision on who you decide to keep going with. And that's why I use the word exclusivity, because if you're not in a committed relationship, we don't even have to say it. You know, I'm talking to other people. We just don't talk about that's it. That's a problem, though, because if that's what you have to communicate, because. Yeah, because we don't. What if I'm okay, feeling you? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Bro, no, go ahead, no, I, go, I think I know where you're going. Ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go right ahead, bro. What if I'm feeling you? He's not sorry. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, because this, this shit is a little pissed me off a little bit. Shouldn't what be. if I'm feeling you, right? And I've, I've been spending this money. Oh my God. Communication. Why and do you keep going to money? Stay on and stay. The how about this? He's been investing his time. He, 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 I got you. If I'm feeling you, and I've been investing my resource, my resources, not just money. Time is a resource as well, you know. Put uh, last foot down. Anything man. I can do. I've been investing my resources in, in you, and you, and not really seeing anybody else, but I haven't communicated to you, but you are... We are dating, and you still have two or three options out there. I'm going to fill away, but that's because we didn't communicate. Co I, think, uh, I think you were going to go confused. Kind of uh, so just because you don't have options, and you oh, and you I, might, no, I cut my options off. You know what I'm saying because uh, I was interested which, in you, which was, which was your choice. I said, oh, right. right. I said that's what I'm saying. Though. Like we uh, that so we we operate how we want to. You cannot have expectations like, oh, I'm doing this and so now you're going to do it. So I completely agree with you. If I've chosen to invest all of myself and I didn't make it clear, like you're the only person that I want to see, you're the only person that I'm willing to see, and I want to make sure that we're on the same page. The same thing. If you assume that even though I communicate, like if I assume even though I communicate with you, that me sharing that is going to result in exclusivity, wrong. I have to ask. Right, we like. I'm not just gonna because people people can say it like, all right. Well, what you want me to do with that? That's, that's why we, I, I said it because when you said uh, it's fair for me to assume that you have other options if we haven't talked about it. That's why right, we ain't talked yeah. about it. Yeah. So but if I'm investing all of me, my resources in you, and we haven't talked about it, that's somebody. But if I've said this to you and I'm still investing, and you feel like you need these other options, then you know. And we still like and, and still talking about it. Like, I mean, are you asking me out? for exclusivity? <laughs> right? Are you sharing that with me? Because I mean are you are you sharing that with me down. because you want me to be exclusive because use your words? Or right. are you just sharing that with me to tell me this is where you are and you're not dating anybody else? Either either is fine. That's, but see, sometimes the what's understood do not have to be explained. I'm sorry that was so cheesy, but if I'm if you can read the cards, if you can read the room, which is our relationship and our dating scene, and I tell you this, you should. You should take the initiative and be like, like so I took my initiative and told you what, how I feel and showed you how I feel. You should take the initiative and, hey, man, look here. This is not what it is. Yeah, man, you out here And it don't happen like that. It you don't happen like that. That's the problem. Dating 15,000 men. Men, I get, man. Mad, they get mad about that shit, though. Oh, all day. I got yeah. I, Somebody call and curse me out talking about something. You play too much. I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, you can't read the cues? No. No, I can't. Like, Conveniently I, or, or did you just miss it? Uh, I have no clue. Or, when I tell, or you just want into them like Man, that, right? when I tell people, like, whatever social cues you think I'm picking up on, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I swear to God. So, okay, <laughs> so I, I try and tell men, like, I was, I had a boyfriend. I've had one boyfriend that I ended up marrying. Yes, I've been with other people, you know, when we, uh, you know, college and all of that. But a relationship, it was only that one. And so coming from a marriage Having never dated, really, I don't know what you mean by what you doing and what you not doing. Like, use your words. And so when dude told me like, oh, so, you know, like when uh you uh you didn't you thought I was just calling you for I'm like, you know how many people call me to, yeah, to check up simple. on me because yeah. they're showing me love. Like I if you're interested romantically, you're going to have to help me understand that's what that means, because I've been wrong. I've definitely I'm been like, you. oh, he like me. No, people, I don't like you, lady. People misinterpret misinterpret someone uh, giving you something versus you having access to them. And it's a big difference when it comes to this dating, this dating game. I swear, I can give you a drink. I can give you some money. That ain't shit to me. Mm -hmm. If you have access to my resources, that means a whole fucking lot. Oh, like if someone can request it and it show up? Without you. Yeah, you, you're, giving them, you're, you're giving them to my, to my resources. Yes, got, you, can, okay. you can name drop I like me. That. You can I like use that, that bro. I like that. That's just a big difference. And people have to, have to really stop misunderstanding uh, what's transactional because 
every relationship becomes transactional at some point. I don't give a fuck how long you've been married, you know. Mm. It becomes transactional, you know what I'm saying? So it's better to get understood early on the game what's what and what's not. You know what I'm saying? So me giving you shit, your nail money, you some money to give back to me, that ain't nothing. You can be one of these options that's not that serious. But if you can call me and say, hey man, it's rent time. Uh, or I can be the ear for you, or you had a long day, I need to come pick you up, or your kids need... Bro, if that's different. That's access to you, your person, your time, your yeah. resources. That's fucking way different. I think men don't have a proper way of communicating that uh, to women without sounding like a Neanderthal. I mean, it's such a sensitive society. I, damn, I'm gonna get to this shit, man. Such a sensitive society right now that we're scared to tell you what it is. Oh, but, I can uh, see that. Without, without looking like a fucking, you know, you're not sensitive. You don't understand what women go through. And a lot of times men don't, but we try. But the man that still takes over, like, man, man the fuck up. You had a bad day? Me too. Guess what? I kept up the work the next day. I didn't cry. I took 10 shots of motherfucking uh, Pinnacle. Casa Azul, <laughs> Pinnacle, yeah, and, and, and got the fuck up the next day with the fucking work. But if you have access to my resources, bitch, you won. Excuse me. Hey, fix bitch and post. I had to say it one time for the show. No, that's fine. I'm going to leave it. Uh, <laughs> I want to get into a couple of these comments real quick. So James Curtis. My man. My man. My dog. <laughs> um, he says, you can't be, quote, unquote, exclusive until you've Dated for a while, and you think hmm. she has true potential to be consistent, to be a consistent partner. Uh, this is before that. I don't know what that means. Uh, she's filling out a couple guys trying to see who is who she wants to be exclusive with. I like that. Okay. That's, okay, a, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I like that. Give me some short ones. Some short ones. <laughs> and they, there were really no short ones, were there? People really nah, like this one. Nah, they did. Nah. Um. Let's see, here we at. Uh, Karen Rover, she says, uh, What up, Karen? I totally agree with her. Why not date multiple people until you are in an exclusive relationship? How do you get to know what you like and don't like if you don't date and get to know different people? Also, just because you are dating or have dates with multiple people doesn't mean you are having sex with A lot of times it do, but I get it. It definitely means that a lot of times. Oh my god! Oh. It it, it, like so y'all, so every so yeah, are, are y'all telling? There's no y'all. Are, are, I'm, no, I'm. This is the question. So okay. y'all were out there dating. Y'all was sleeping with everybody that y'all was going out with. Like that's what y'all was on. One going out in the dating scene, probably yeah. In the younger years, yes. Okay. Those are exper experimental years. You probably were. You know, oh, I, I could bag that. She think I'm. She think I'm cute and handsome. Whatever she likes about me. We're dating. Tacos, tacos, pussy. Drinks, pussy. You know what I'm saying? Walking the park, pussy. Basketball game, I'm going to pussy. You know what I'm saying? But. That was that. That's an immature, undeveloped uh, view of what dating is. Older is different now. It's different now. You do you have? If a man over forty, if he's dating, has his options. And everyone does not have. There, they aren't viable options to be viable. partners. <laughs> viable, you know what I'm saying? Options to be partners in some sense, like in a major sense. He doing that shit wrong too, though. You can just have. Uh, pussy pals. Man, I will. <laughs> what you? <laughs> pussy pals. I just, I, <laughs> and so he, he missed all that though. Sorry though. As, as, I, as I'm reading a lot of these women comments, man, a lot of women are actually saying, even Kiana Cooper. Shout out to Kiana, right? She well, says, it, it, uh, <laughs> "So, so wait a minute. I thought dating meant getting to know each other, not exclusively, and damn sure not juicing everybody. If we're I exclusive, heard you saying forever. I love that word. My we, God, we go together real bad." That's a relationship. <laughs> that was funny, right? Look, I think that as humans, let's just say humans, I don't want to be, you know, man, woman. As humans, the actual reason that you try to spend time with someone is because you find them attractive. There's something about them that's attractive. It could be physical. It could be mental. It could be, uh, I don't know, another term. <laughs> what else is there? <laughs> shit. You know, shit. I don't know. Let me think about it. But is, is this woman single? Super single or on the verge of being in a relationship? The one, the woman in this the, post. This the clip. lady that quit. Yeah. What, 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 she, she was done with Kevin at, after two years. <laughs> she No, that was that was it's, an example. That was an example. Right? Like the, exa the example was to help women. If you have decided to be exclusive prematurely, right? And, you've, and you have dated this person... That she she called him Kevin, who's a four. A four, man. <laughs> and man, I don't know what the four hate. means. Don't right? diss on four now. You 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 been you been with him but for I two mean, years. He wasn't a four. No, no, no. no. I mean, you you could date a four, and a four could be because he's not consistent, right? But instead of you acknowledging, like, okay, this man isn't consistent, why am I here ten toes down? Why don't I keep him in a space where we can share time with each other, but I'm also going to explore my options to be with other men? Why she, she do I 
Why am I choosing to make myself exclusive to someone who has shown that I'm not we're not on the same page that I think that is the point that she's making because if you spend two years with somebody (laughs) exclusive that really shouldn't have been, and you did that prematurely. Now you're two years behind and you got to start all over again. Maybe you should stop committing and being exclusive prematurely. I don't agree with the dating the deficit part. She said, I don't understand (laughs) what that meant though. It meant like you're behind now because to be with somebody, you don't know what you want anymore. Yeah, you're not outside. Oh, you're right. you're okay. Like, wait a minute. It's you're catering to that, to that person. It's safe to say that thing may have changed, but you know what the fuck you like. You may you may want to add something to your dating palette. Palette, yes, your dating palette now, but you still know what you like. Oh, I like I like that kind of like because uh, I I, I understood that here. she meant yeah, get like your life together, man. I, I understand what she meant by you're kind of like two years behind, but I was interpreting it as um uh with with your options. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, no, like knowing somebody. We don't know knowing, she could have been. Yeah, yeah like, I don't. I, that's how I interpreted it because uh, I feel like when uh, when I was done with my marriage, and it's scary as hell out here. I get it. Oh my it's god! Changed, yeah. It took it took it took buddy a year to get me to like in person. That's a lot. I'd have dropped your ass. Can, cool. can we can we transition? Uh, there's a flip. <laughs> you say you would have dropped me. Yeah, well, I was. I, I was nervous. I didn't know. There's a flip side. Kind of to this to this conversation, um, women. You guys were um, mm. super in love with a uh, guy guy named the man, the myth, what's his name? the Darren legend, Jared Jackson, Jackson with an X. You know what I mean? Um, he was number one pander, yep. panderer, pander bear. Making um, good points though. You should and, be a pander bear. For and and now now he just dropped his joint, and I'm gonna play this, and then we are gonna react to that. Mm. <laughs> just the I'm conversation felt like receptiveness, mm-hmm. like acceptance again. Mm-hmm. Um, right but on. those loose yeah. boundaries yeah. turn into no boundaries. No. So I don't have aggressive energy towards a woman except in intimacy. And so how I would express my affection oftentimes was aggressive. Like I want to pick her up. Yeah. I don't just kiss her. I pin her up against the wall, put my hand around. I'm not trying to get graphic. Yeah. This context here. So, I, I you know, come about. up behind her and hug on her, you know, kind of aggressive. But that would make her really, really shut down. I ain't never been so sensitive to rejection because we all get rejected. But this is the first time I felt that. And what safer, what felt safer was to go out and at least have friendships with other girls. Just the conversation felt like receptiveness, like acceptance again. Mm-hmm. Um, but those loose boundaries turned into no boundaries. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if we continued to clash and continue, she continued to pull away or what have you, and I'm not getting no answers or whatever... I'm especially in my prideful state. I'm thinking, man, she got me effed up. So I'm over here doing the right thing. And she over here um, acting like I ain't nothing. So now there's a party tonight or there's a girl on campus and then she got her own dorm room. And that's whenever I started messing around. (laughs) All right. Whatever. He said he been cheating for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I've been cheating for a long time. Now, free free the guys, though. Being rejected in your own relationship is a real thing as a man. That's terrible. As a woman, too. Right. Um. What I heard, all this "quote unquote" aggressive. Like, first of all, fam, why are you putting her head up against the wall and, and just don't aggr- yuck somebody's young? Aggr- yeah, because we aggr- like that. Aggr- aggressively you. grabbing you know, her. Because you know, we like that. You, that. Shit, you never right? choke nobody. Now, you know, now, now we ain't pulled that hair, <laughs> and we enjoy it. Smack that Not when I walk in the house head. like, "Hey, girl, wow. yes, wall. Yep, do you it." So bland ass out of here, bro. You are so vanilla. Fuck out of here, man. Basic as hell, man. PC ass. Nope. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, now, now, what I, what I, what I, what y'all did here. Uh, is that the woman he's talking about, she had been raped. Now, I don't know why this is your woman you don't know that she had been raped. Why well, she got to tell him that? Why well, she had to disclose that? That's her, that's her information, bro. She don't have to do that. That's her man. She may be uncomfortable still. Okay. That's, that's her, her business, though, bro. It is her business. But if I'm telling you that I'm feeling rejected and then you withhold that information, I understand why he would feel the way he felt. I do get that. Right, but at the end of the day, this motherfucker is a liar. So I really don't believe shit he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He lied to y'all for a year and a half on the internet. What do you lie about? So right. You lied to his wife. Yeah, he lied to his wife. I mean, you know, act like he's the greatest, great, great, greatest man I don't in the think world. He, I whatever, think people, whatever. People, his, his, people his, 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 were disappointed in him, bro. He didn't lie. I mean, I, I, mean, I, don't I don't care. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if if it's your if, if this is I'm your just woman, leave me alone. That's what it just sounded like. No, but is this your woman? Like, you should know these things. If she don't tell you, how do you know? Yeah, what are you talking like? Okay, and when. I'm continuously getting rejected and I'm asking for answers. Why aren't if you she's sharing? not ready to, if she's not done processing the traumatic event that's happened to her, bro, she not, she don't have to tell you. So you don't love me. She gonna give you an incomplete thought. She gonna give you an incomplete oh thought. God. 
and you think it's the answer, and it's not the answer yet. It's gonna be an incomplete assignment you're gonna have. And you go, you're gonna be like, well, you know what, this, this, that, that. And she's gonna be like, well, she wasn't finished. Because when you go through traumatic events, you should know this. Traumatic events, bro. How about this? Forgiveness, if you really care about somebody or respect somebody, forgiveness don't take forever. But the the process afterwards may. You, the healing may take forever because you mm-hmm. never know how different people approach those, how different people may step on those triggers or hit those triggers. So you don't know that, bro, because it's just like you evolve and gain knowledge through life and make yourself a better person, though. Your reaction to the event, your growth from the event can come in increments. Your brain shuts off at times when you have you have enough overload. It shuts off at times to let your body heal because if your mind's tired, the rest of your body is not going to follow you. I agree. When, when chick tells you she's not into you, like most women, I'm going to say great. I don't want to say the R word. When grape happens, they can really like somebody. You know, they can tell, hey, man, my, my shit was dry because of what was going on at the time. My shit was dry. I'm going to stop right there. Go ahead, go ahead. This is going to be really graphic. So <laughs> uh, I'll say, one, people don't, we don't talk about sex and intimacy and romance enough, period, right? To really like understand like where, where we're coming from, what's happened. It's the same reason like uh, there are certain sexual acts that women want to do in the bedroom that are super kinky and freaky that the their male partner won't do because of the sexual trauma that he experienced from his babysitter, his older female cousin. He ain't coming up off that. Facts. He'll, you will never know. Right. He'll just say, I'm not in. He'll brush it off. He, he won't do it. Right. And so the, the it, this clicked for me when I went out on a date. And the first thing the dude said, he said, uh, uh, Willie don't swim, <laughs> Willie don't dance, what? And, oh, Willie, and Willie don't suck pussy. And I was like, I said, oh, you don't swim? And what he, does that even mean? He said he don't swim. He can't swim. Okay. Right? Because he had asked me about myself and I told you. No, I, I thought that was like some sexual intimacy. You know, yeah, no, okay. Willie don't swim, okay. Willie don't dance, and <laughs> Willie don't suck pussy. And so. Willie's a loser. Willie said his boundaries, though. I respect Willie. Right. right. And so because I've also been someone who is a victim, if that's the first thing you lead with, I'm staying away from that's it. That's creepy. What, right? Like if you. if On the first date. On the fir- yeah, on the first date. Like if you say like, I'm not even going to touch that. And he was like, usually when I say that, women, da, da, da. So now I'm like, oh, is this bait? Like, are you fishing to or talk about dead, sex? Huh? Because that could have been, you know, the reverse. And I said, no, I'll be honest with you. I said, uh, if if you tell me some sexual act that you don't do, won't do, I said, either something has happened um, or, you know, like you're trying to avoid something from happening. And you know what? I want us to have a good time. And I don't want to I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable talking about something that you already say absolutely not to. And so uh, having been in a situation where I don't tell everybody, you know, what has happened to me. Right. But also I know what it feels like to, you know, be present in someone's life and be doing all the right things. And I think that was the curious part to me because the right thing would be to ask that person, what do you like? Right. Instead of assuming right. like what turns good. me on is being aggressive because that's real, right? right? Being aggressive you know, and we like it. And it, it was hard for me going from, and I'll be, you know, transparent, getting my ass beat to ha- to liking rough sex. That's hard. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's, and it's, it's harder when you come from a relationship where you also had to be physically intimate with the person that violated you. And you got to deal with the fact that you do like it a little rough, but then it can take you back to that moment. moment. I didn't give this person permission to choke me. We were not being sexual. You know, like it's confusing. And he did say college. And so I'm thinking like, oh, we're talking about a 17, 18 year old, 19 year old young man. Like what what type of community does he have to help him understand what his partner is going through and even his own sexual preferences and and needs because aggression might not actually turn you on right Right. like you might just be doing that because you saw it in porn dude (laughs) you might tabs open now baby (laughs) yeah like you you might be having sex in a way that you're performative but you haven't even you're not even making love how you your body makes love because you're like emulating what you see it Mm -hmm. like so it's uh, it's a lot so i like the conversation that it kicked off i never meant for it to be about him it was an invitation to be like yo so how 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 do you deal with rejection in your relationship? How do you talk right. about it? It is it is it can be 
it can create it's depression. It's devastating. Yeah, it, it could change a yeah. lot about you. When I heard that, look here, the male ego is fragile until it ain't, and it's so fucking convenient. The guys were like, yeah, I've been rejected. I handled it well. I just slide. I do that. Man, shut the fuck up. Because y'all, y'all, yeah, them niggas be lying. Yeah, y'all not even big cap, super cap. Y'all not even reading or hearing the conversation correctly, in my opinion. Because there's no way you can get that, what you, the response. There's no, there's no way what he said garnered the response that you guys have, unless you're stupid. Yes, I called y'all stupid. I'll, give a fuck. <laughs> I'll call you stupid tomorrow, okay? But I didn't, they heard him because of what they feel about him. They looked at what he was saying as an excuse when I heard a reason. I'm not saying it was some reasons are still fucked up, but it's a reason why you did what you did. Because if, if you're with someone and they reject you within the relationship that you hold safely that you were in, you can, it's only so long you can go without knowing why you're being rejected. Like he was saying, he didn't articulate it the way I'm going to articulate it, but with just different points of view. Uh, so it's, only, it's only so long you can go without knowing what the real answer is. Uh, right. So is it me? You, is it? Right. Yeah. You tend to look for what you're not getting in your partner because you're being rejected now and others. That's a real, it happened to me. It's a real fucking thing. If you're not getting the uh, the conversation you need, somebody out here talk to you. If you're not getting that shoulder to lean on when you're tired or you're getting poured into, somebody somebody pour into you. Somebody you, will pour. If you're not getting that pussy, most people will give it to you for free. You know what I'm saying? No date without, without the re- that's a fact. It's funny as it sounds. It's, it's a fact though. Somebody will give you what you're lacking uh, due to rejection in your relationship outside the house, and it in turn brings the bullshit back to your house because now. You guys can't communicate properly. You haven't been communicating properly about what is and what ain't, what's going on. And now, without knowing, device, you guys want to take like this, device like this. It's like this. It just, like grows, this. And it just grows, grows and grows and grows, man. And, and a that's a problem, man. Because and you can't be you can't be afraid to admit uh or admit that you don't understand what's going on. Yeah. And I think that's one thing he was dealing with too, though. So instead of prying, I don't know how long he pried or dug for information to see what was what the problem was because he didn't know that she had been great. You know what I'm saying? Which I, I understand your point, but she didn't have to say it if she wasn't comfortable. So I understand where you're coming from too. But she, he didn't pry long enough. He just gave up. And men will give up. If you don't want us, somebody else will. Look, when it comes to physical touch, and this is why I teach touch uh, yoga experience for partners. Oh, touch. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Touch. Um, because we can, and men communicate without using words. You, you all will say a lot so with <laughs> how you all, how you all operate. Um, but there are many ways to pick up on what people enjoy, what they don't enjoy. And so I always teach couples like there's a difference between asking, ooh, baby, do you like this? Which ooh, is baby, a I yes like or no. Girl. Or baby, what do you like? Facts. Right. And so when when we don't pick up on let me invite this body to tell me how they like to be pleased versus how uh, I want facts. to touch you. My, my, and I like it that. turns me That's on. Beautiful. And I have never been asked by a single person what it is that I like. For real? Like, I've my, never been invited don't be to... Be like, you like it like this and like that? No? You don't like... Words have like never that? been spoken Damn, ever in my life. And, oh, a, lot of, oh, and a lot of you partners... Dated, you dated the wrong people. Well, uh, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> people funny. don't have that level of... Like intimacy, sexual intelligence. Like we don't, yeah. Like yeah. it's it's all it's, sexual we intelligence. Think, I, like I, have, what? I like that. We think that we just have sex and it just happens. When you actually learn how to make love to each other, mm. and if you got to move and you're having sex the same way with four different bodies, like what are you doing? Facts going through the motion. To cap my yeah. point off too, though. First of all, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, to cap my point off, a lot of times I forgot what study this was, and I'm not making this shit up. It's an actual study. A survey, a survey, a poll, P O L L. A poll, yeah. P O L. I spelled it. Look, I spelled it. I hate that you spelled it. Wait, you couldn't. Wait, show we all right. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> a lot of times when these behaviors are initiated because of rejection, you never come back from them because you you begin to normalize the behavior because it satisfies your needs. It completes your person. You know what I'm saying? Of what you had, or what you used to have, or what you thought you should have with the person you were with. So now you've you've created an o- a space where it's okay. For you to be promiscuous, you know what I'm saying? For you to, uh, I'm still say promiscuous sexually, conversationally, uh, and attention wise. You you, know you, you found a way to meet your needs. Um, and and you, you okay with it? Yeah, you, it, with the harder thing would have been to communicate. Um, I am feeling more connected to people outside of this relationship. I don't want to disrespect you, but I don't feel loved and supported. I'm confused. These are some of the things that I'm looking for. Um, if, you know, I don't want to press you. You know, like we don't, we don't I, know I, how to have those conversations. I feel like that conversation happens when 
both parties are actually invested, right? And both parties That's choose fair. to have that conversation. Whether you bring it up, I bring it up, right? If I bring it up and then you are reciprocating the same energy, it's cool. And vice versa. If you bring it up and I shut that shit down, like, man, get your goof ass out of here. Or vice versa. It's like, this isn't the one, right? So almost to your point, or actually to Bozzy's point, like, why would she feel comfortable enough to tell her story and why she's coming off this way? You know what I mean? My thing is, if you love me and we've been in a relationship, these are things that I should know. So now I know how to deal with you, not just sexually, but on a day-to-day basis because you've gone through something very traumatic. Now, I say that to say, I'm reading one of Derek Jackson's comment. He says, when a woman tells her, quote unquote, why, behind her toxic behavior, she's sharing her truth. When a man tells his, quote unquote, why, behind his truth, he's avoiding accountability. Are we still talking? Is he is he just making a <coughs> car- so uh, is is this separate from him sharing how he got to the point of being, uh, you know, stepping outside of his relationship? Because I don't disagree with the with the the, the comment. Yeah, with the, with the comment. But I just want to make sure is he is he making this relative to what the situation is, is? Is he implying that her why was toxic? That's what I'm trying to say. Or is this completely? I think, separate? I think it's general. It sounds separate to me, but I don't know. Okay, like it sounds can, separate. I, can we separate it for our? Yeah, for fine. sure. Yeah. All right. So it's the corner girl, um, you know what we do. I I I will say, um, we it, it is my belief. We gotta we got lady math. The way that we, <laughs> we got lady math. It's like what what counts, how it counts. I've done it. Um, I've definitely absolved myself of toxic behavior. Oh, um, and I've done so because I can. And I can mm. argue um, mm. and I can kind of shift blame. Um, it took a long time for me to learn how I was using my womaninity or femininity as a weapon. Um, and it took for it, it took for somebody that I respected to keep pulling my coattail and he was put, you. putting putting a mirror. Um, and that's also something that I realized that when a man does have feelings for you and does see a future with you that he begins to tell you about yourself in a way that's deeply uncomfortable. And also he might have similar habits, but what we ain't finna do (laughs) is you not finna act like I'm the only one over here, you know, on bullshit, you know, and I can, you know, it took a long time for me to be okay with someone behaving like a friend because I'm used to women also in my life Going with and letting me be. Um, Not holding you accountable for your bullshit. Pull, pull, pulling my car when I offend them. Not pulling my car when I'm being offensive. Mm, bars. Gotcha, yeah. You know? Understood. So now I have somebody in my life that's like, all right, well, you wanted you're me. you like a boxing trainer, for yeah, real. Yeah, like, get your shit together, you know? Uh-huh. I remember... The, like one of the moments, um, <laughs> not, not the I can remember. Yeah, um, I was Shit. like, I was like, man, you know, like you know, I can help you, right? Buddy was like, you need to help yourself. I was like, <laughs> let me pick my face up and put it back on. He was like, you need to use all of your energy to keep your life yes, together. Yeah. Hey, nope. man, I was like, real shit. Click. I got <laughs> cussed Matt. out. I got cussed out. Uh, unfriended, unfollowed, all this shit because. I don't shit on people that need therapy or go to therapy because it's a serious thing. It's a real thing. It's a necessary tool and it's a readily available tool. If you need it out here, use this shit by all means. But you have to understand that every therapist ain't for you. Shout out to Titanic. You know what I'm saying? Every therapist ain't for you. <laughs> Your therapist squad. is called Tang Tang? No, Titanic. Titanic. Squad. Titanic, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, <laughs> right. Squad. Uh, <laughs> but a few people I know I'm looking like, you need your money back because you are, you know, you are getting worse. You are you are oh. now you are now you don't sound delusional, but you sound like you are not holding yourself accountable. Whatever therapist you're talking to, they're letting you vent to them, tell you about tell them about your week, and not offering anything of substance to help you fix what's going on. Because every time I talk to you now, it's like, well, that person, that person, this person, that happened, that happened. everybody's a problem but you. Mm. Everybody's a problem but you. And then now you want to psychoanalyze everybody. Fam, you go in there not to become a therapist. You want to get help for yourself. You are you still damaged. You may be damaged more. 
who are you to help me heal? Two hurt people can't heal each other. You can hurt together. That's it. You can heal together with help from different people, though. Yeah, I will. You know what I'm saying? I will never again, um, you know, I, I definitely am grateful for somebody being like, focus on you, right? Um, it's been life changing. Like once I stopped saying like, oh, it's because of my parents and something that happened right. or this moment that happened in college or this dude that did something wrong to me. And, it, you know, it, it took therapy and it took me being ready to accept that I have people who really do rock with me. And, um, you know, like I I do have a choice every single moment. Absolutely. Right? Like every all the suffering in my life I have uh, I've said yes to. <laughs> right, like yeah. I have, yes. I, I've That's either real. talk about it. That's I've real, in, though. I've either invited it or I've allowed it to stay. Right. And so, like the uh, I remember uh, we were getting ready for my homegirl's wedding, and everybody was you know talking about makeup and hair, and I looked and I was like, uh, my husband won't let me wear perfume. I can't get my nails done, and I can't wear heels. And then all, everybody turned around and said, "Bitch, what?" And so my homegirl said, "This is gonna hurt." She said, are you ready for it? I said, yeah. I wasn't ready. She yeah. said, bitch, you choosing all of this. Facts. And I was like, what? She Facts. said, he's here because you let him stay here. He's beating your ass because you let him beat your ass and you ain't done nothing about it. So we don't want to hear about what he's doing. What the fuck you going to do? And I, approve I this message. was it hurt. It broken yeah. because nobody had ever told me Remember you choose. Remember who you are. Remember yeah. you. I, re yeah. I remember me, fam. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And I think that was, I, it was a long ride home. We were in a car for two hours and was she long. was like, why are you choosing? Mm. Why are you choosing? And what else can you choose? And those were like some of the most important questions ever. And it was life changing. Ever since then, I've just been reminded like, Everything in my life that brings me joy and happy and, and you suffering. Bring me joy. Man, I gotta go. Come on, y'all. That's uh that's on me. Yeah, man. Well, you know, it's episode 161, man. This is uh some Patreon shit here going on. Dopeness, uh, dope is always dopeness, brother. We are gonna get out of here, man. I appreciate y'all. Six months in with Good Kels. Show. Good show. Six months. Six months. It's like the think. second trimester. Yeah. <laughs> the Bill yeah. Russell one. <laughs> we got st <laughs> no stretch marks. This 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 your freshman year. You know, you're in second semester. We're gonna see if yeah. you uh if you get kicked out of uh Man. The grades, the grades, what? Right. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. We got September 9th don't, don't coming up, ID. so let let them let them let them know what's what's going on. September 9th, uh, we will be. <laughs> hold on, scroll, scroll. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna be somewhere, man. We are gonna be at uh, Midway Place Science, man. You said with somewhere. uh, special ed. Uh, shout out to everybody over there doing that. And then September 16th, 16th, we will be at Englewood Music Fest with uh, Trick Daddy and Trina. Babe, T double D changed my life, man. I swear to God. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, uh -huh. The basic so sex left my life when I heard Trick Daddy. It was all nasty shit after that, though. Thumps in the truck, thighs that what well, ain't no y'all got more booty in the butt. Oh, that's not my song. That, <laughs> thong, 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 thong. You know, I like the way the booty goes. Ate like, the coochie with the legs up, then blow it all in her butt. I say, what? <laughs> Did you try I to have do to that? Try that. <laughs> I have to try. I must try this. Ninety nine, two thousand, bro. So your trick, daddy. Uh, try list. <laughs> hey man, episode one sixty one. Oh, oh, Love y'all. <laughs> Come on, T Double D. We are exploiting. Like somebody auntie now, but it's cool. It's cool, little fam. More words. What's your butter rim? Can't wait till you speak. I love Trina. We are exploiting.